Vlogmas day 21. Three days to go, four sleeps to Christmas. Oh my goodness, what on earth is going on with my hair? <sighs> How are we doing guys? We're almost there. It's starting to feel a bit like this now. <laughs> just not, not Vlogmas, just generally everything because I'm having time off. Um, hello Bubble. Hi Rach, Trisha, Melody. Okay, I've got a quick review for you today. I suddenly remembered that I hadn't done one. Happy Yule, yes. Um, I suddenly remembered I hadn't done one and I said I would, so... Oh, ah! That's what I can do today. Hi Mia. You made it. We're at the beginning. You, we've just started, so. <laughs> okay. Today I'm going to review uh, something that was created by a fellow artist called the Pel Portable Painter Palette. And I'm not going to say that very often because struggle. Struggle bus, okay? The, the struggle is real. <laughs> Portable painter palette. I couldn't do the what's his name Piper pickle thing either. Hello. Okay, let's. Uh, which one do I want? Uh, that one, I think. Boom, there we go. Uh, so this is what I was working on earlier on Twitch. If you missed it, uh, the replay should be available. That shouldn't be there. We changed our mind on that. So this is a completely new one, actually. All I had when I started, I'd put in these two bits of rock and decided that I was keeping these in the picture. And that was it. Everything else is added today. So if you want to check that out. Yeah, that's him. Can't. Peter, Peter. I keep saying Peter Peter. Peter 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 Peter. See what I mean? That's him. Yeah, it's different. It's got a different vibe to it. It's kind of New Yeary. I think I've moved on to New Year now. I'm like, okay, I'm done with Christmas. I just want to sleep now. Uh, but if you want to check that out, twitch.tv forward slash Romany. There will be gaps in the audio because we were playing Christmas music and they mute certain parts of the audio. Zombie brains today, look. Zombie brains. This is the <laughs> pocket size portable painter palette. And that's the last time I'm saying it, okay? Well, maybe at the end of the video, but I've got that out for a reason. I'll show you in a minute. So this was designed by Steve Padden, portable painter Oh, portable. It's, if you say it fast, it's easier. Where did I get my desk easel? Oh, it was like three quid in the works. You can buy them anywhere. They're about a tenner. Just look for a desk easel. Actually, that one's not that good. The one that is like a, literally like a mini desk easel is very, is excellent. Um, but it's too tall. I can't use it on the desk. Um, but yeah, the, that one with the drawer. You can buy them anywhere. Just look for desk easel with draw. You can, in fact, where are you from, Melody? Are you UK, US, Australia? Where, whereabouts are you? Because you can probably get them in places like Dick Blick and um, Michaels in the US. Over here, you can get them just about anywhere. You can buy them on eBay. <laughs> You're in the US. Yeah, Dick Blick's probably do their own version. 
and Michaels. If all else fails, you can definitely find them on Amazon. So just look for a portable paint. Port I'm going to keep trying to say port. This is why I don't like words beginning with P because I'll start getting them all mixed up. Desk easel. Portable desk easel. There we go. Hi, Nez. Okay. This is the palette. Now, here's what it looks like when it comes. Whoops. Hang on a minute. I don't know how this thing keeps coming unscrewed. It's not like I move it around all the time. Not this bit, anyway. Oh, my lighting's a bit weird, too. Hang on a second. I've forgotten my big light on. There we go. Much better. <laughs> Sorry, I've got all my um, Christmas lights and everything on. It's lit up like the Blackpool Ill Illuminations in here. So I didn't actually need the main light on for a change. Finding one that's small and not too tall. Yeah, that's what I needed. That's why I like this one because it's it's A4 size basically. And it goes it goes up straight, but it's only that fits a composition book, so that's 10 inch. But if you look for the ones with a drawer, so this, this is supposed to have a drawer that fits under there. I take it out because I lose things in it. Um, and it's specifically designed for going out in the field. It's supposed to have locks on it and everything, but I've taken all those off. <laughs> Pilfered them for other things. Hello, Miss Maddie. Hello. Look at the waggy tail. Miss Maddie's feeling better today. Miss Maddie has a waggy tail. Hi. Hi, waggy. What a good girl. Right. This was originally a, I can't remember if it was a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo or something like that. Um, Steve Padden designed the original of this. This is the second version. Uh, for people like him who paint out in the field or for Urban Sketchers, which he also is one, uh, which is how I found out about it. And the idea is that it's an all-in-one inclusive thing. So all you need to do is add water and paint. Just add water, basically. So this is what it looks like when it comes. This is a brand new one. Never been out of the box. As you can probably tell, doesn't want to come out of the box. It's Nested in there, does not want to come out. Come on. Don't be silly. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Don't be shy. So this is the... Put my grotty one over there. This is a new one. Uh, it comes with this band, which I'm told is for... that kind of thing which is a good idea I'm not going to get into what I think of it until afterwards because I have quite a few thoughts on this as you can imagine um, so this slides off don't lose that I'll come back to it this one's off and this comes off, okay? And you'll see there's notches on here and there's notches on the ends and you go, what? When you first get it, it's quite hard to open sometimes. Uh, and it has a tendency to jump as you click it, which, you know, these are loose, but they were on mine. They appear to be stuck down in this one. On mine, as soon as I turned it over like that, they all fell out. So I opened this and it went click and they all jumped out. 
these lock into place you get a pen a pencil a brush with it uh, and the idea is that you slide this onto here and this onto here and as you probably saw from his illustration here it sits on your knee like that when you're working obviously not that wobbly if you've got sensible sized knees so you've got water um, if fine art water painters use or you know ones who aren't lazy use two lots of water one for cleaning their brush one for using with their paint those of us who are lazy use a water brush um, but you could also use this one for this you put your paints in there and apparently this one is stuck in so you'd have to prise them out and then push them back in mine weren't stuck in but mine was a, an earlier version and now that I've opened this it's got dog hair all over it because it's static now it is solid so if you put it down on the table it doesn't it doesn't tip over unless you really press down on one side but once you've got water in this it's a lot more stable and it doesn't tend to rock about so unless you're very heavy-handed you wouldn't have a problem So there you go, nice neat little thing. You can buy it at his website, which I've linked down below. Uh, if you are in the UK, you can actually buy it on Jackson's Art Supplies and I have a 10% discount if you would like to use that, etc, uh, etc. Et it's a very nice little thing, kind of cute, very useful, etc. And when I first got it, I was like, oh, that's so cool. How awesome is that? yeah and then i was like oh this was designed by a man <laughs> because as most of us know as uh, us women tend to know men don't tend to think about it but women know when a guy sits down their legs kind of go like that then their quads stand up from their legs, right? When we sit down, our thighs go, oh, and suddenly they're six times as wide as they were to begin with. Unless you have, as Melody said, unless you have very skinny legs, once you sit down, that's not cutting it. Everyone I've seen, all the, all the girls I've seen review it so far, are pretty young like you know late teens early 20s type young college uni type girls they haven't hit their college 15 yet let alone their post college 25 and the rest uh so that it's not an issue for them but for us older girls it's an issue trust me on the plus side, if you use a moleskin notebook, which is why I've got my moleskin notebook out, it is the exact, exact right size to fit on there, like that. So it does have benefits. What I did find was that it was better to work on the opposite side of the paper that you used to, so that you could lie your book on your arm, have that there and paint this side. But that's me. I don't like to cross paint. Most people I see painting with watercolour cross paint. So they have their water and palette over there and then they bring it over here. And I never understood that. I always have mine there. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm a confused left-hander, but I don't know. Anyway, yes, if you've got a, a moleskin notebook, this works really well. You can pop that under there and paint and it works great. So it does work for that. Another issue I had with it, I don't have very strong hands and I don't know what on earth is on with, up with this paintbrush, but I've never managed to get mine open. 
If I manage to open this one, I'm going to swap it. Because <laughs> I can't work. Well, I, I won't actually. I won't swap it because I don't, I don't use the paintbrush that comes with it. By the way, this thing. It's so easy to lose this thing. I do not understand. They would have been, no, I'll put that in uh, improvements that I would suggest. Because Steve asks for improvements and feedback, so I'm, I'm gonna give improvements and feedback. This thing, if you lose this, you can't put it back together. Now, if you're using this as a pen pot, you can pop it in there, no problem, job done. If you are using it for two lots of water, your pencil, your paintbrushes and pens can go on there. That's fine. However, this thing, you basically just have to stick it in your pocket and hope you don't lose it. This could have been executed better. And I have an idea for it, so I'm going to suggest it to Steve. I have... Um, let me see if I can get this brush. Oh, no, this one comes straight apart. Yeah, call me a liar. There you go. Straight away. And yet mine won't come apart for love nor money. Look. It's even got teeth marks on it. Can you see the teeth marks on it where I've tried to grip it with my teeth to get it open? And yet that one came apart straight away, so I don't know. Now I've lost the other half of it. It's useful having a, a two-part thing. But I don't like the brush. It's not big and fluffy enough for me. It's a detail brush. And I think most urban sketches I've seen use a big flat, fat water brush, like somewhere between a four and a ten. This is nowhere near either. So brush could have been better. Brush could have been much better designed. You could put this under here. Yeah, you can. But because it's so short, it has a tendency to fall out. And I know this because I've used it. <laughs> Yeah, it should fit under the elastic band and you're supposed to be able to like put pencils and stuff under there and things. If you put anything else under here with that, it falls out. And if you're not careful, when just when you're holding it, it will slide out. Look how easily it slides out. So yes, it does. I suppose you could try and somehow finagle it that way, but that would be really... That's a pain in the backside to do. No, you'd have to take it off to do it. It doesn't fit. It doesn't quite fit on the band like that. See, it doesn't quite. It should, but it doesn't. Well, like I say it should. It would be better if it did. Oh, that's what you mean like that. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to, but I can't get it in. I have weak hands though, so that could be me. However, you know, you expect something that's such a simple design to work for everybody. An awful lot of urban sketches or hobby artists or people who go out painting are like me they're all, all the people who are starting to have issues with their hands or their you know whatever so it in theory yes but in actuality no um the point of designing this his point for designing this was something that would work for quote everybody and it doesn't it absolutely doesn't work for me um so, and I'm not talking about like, oh, I'm picky and I, I have issues with this, that and the other. I do have a couple of issues that are possibly just me, which I will address separately. But universally, 
women in general, once they hit 25, your thighs start to spread as soon as you sit down. We all know how it works. You put on that lovely pair of jeans, it looks amazing in the shop. The minute you sit down, suddenly your ass expands by three sizes, your thighs expand and all the circulation is cut off. It's truth. <laughs> it happens to all of us. Uh, even some of my skinnier friends have said it happens to them too. So it's just girls in general, I think. But certainly us ladies over a certain age, it, it just, yeah. And look at the Urban Sketches videos. An awful lot of Urban Sketches are women over 30. Awful lot of them. So, yeah, doesn't work for me. Also, although this is, this is sturdy, and certainly once you've got water in there, it's a lot more sturdy. Most jeans are awesome when you're standing up, but as soon as you sit down, you know whether something doesn't fit. Exactly. Exactly. That's my point. It was designed by a man who didn't think about a different way of, a different anatomy, if that makes sense. I suspect guys would have no trouble using this because most guys don't put weight on on their thighs. Their muscle. I think if you had muscular legs you might struggle, but again, their quads stand up, they don't go sideways. Fat goes sideways, muscle goes up. And the general thing is that men's legs tend to be muscular, whereas women's legs, unless we're athletes, tend to be, or athletic, tend to be more fat. That happened to you before age 25, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. I stopped dancing and boom! <laughs> anyway. So this thing is fiddly and something I've noticed, my nails, I allowed them to grow for Christmas. I usually have super short nails. My nails are, you, you've seen my nails, they're normally like, you can see the top of my fingers over the top of my fingernails because I like them short. I'm currently struggling to type. The amount of women I know with nails this long who are also artists. Uh, Courtney, for instance, she has crazy long gel nails. We do things like that. We don't have time to be fiddling around with something like this. I mean, I can't do it with slightly longer than normal nails, which are no nails at all, basically. So uh, Courtney would have no, tr no chance with this, which means she'd end up being lazy and putting it like that. And I suspect a lot of people get lazy and do that anyway. And that just slides out so not a great design i'm going to put that back over there with mine even though once you've got water in this it is a lot more stable if you are in any way heavy handed it tips up water everywhere your longer nails are my short nails yeah exactly most people my nails this is what you do when you know that you're not going to get a manicure for another six weeks. You get them this length, so they still feel longish, but after six weeks they'll be like talons and you'll need to get them cut. I cut mine right down. I don't have them anywhere near this long. My nail is usually, well that one broke off actually, and that's, that's nearer to the length I normally have them. I like that dark short nail look always have so not practical for women and I'm generalizing because not all women have long nails I don't normally have long nails I'm just saying when I do have long nails can't do that uh, the other thing I mean obviously this tips over when I first got mine this one is slightly different I don't know if it was a different design these are stuck in now, I can't actually get these out at all, so this is the opposite problem. Um, mine, it all popped out, so every time it went like that, all my paints fell out as well. So water everywhere, paints everywhere, plus if you've got pencils in here, they all fall out too. It's not so bad if you're working on your desk, uh, but if you're trying to balance it anywhere, it's not good. Something else I noticed 
if you use it without this, this isn't flat. And this, that is so annoying. Every single time, you need a bigger brush. Every single time. On both sides. Also really annoying because it's a nice flat. It doesn't sit flat. It looks flat, but it doesn't fl sit flat. And this is not so much a fault as a design miss. They should have made these so that these slotted together. Because these on their own, not stable at all. Whereas if they'd slotted together, that would have been great. That would have been a really nice little feature to put slide those two together and have your two water pots next to each other. That would have been a good feature. Um, and especially if you're urban sketching, because a lot of the time you have your palette, you don't have your palette flat on the desk. It's not meant to be a palette, a desk palette. You'd have it on your page. And when you've got it clipped to your page, it makes no difference. Because you clip it to your page like that. You clip it to your book like that. It makes no difference that it's not flat because it's on a book. It's on paper, so it doesn't rock about. So that's great. But if you want to put these down anywhere, they fall over. And you can imagine how often they fall over given how small that space is. Hand-eye coordination is not my strong point, strong point, and the minute you do that, that happens. So you've got to constantly, if you don't have it attached to here, you've got to constantly put that down, hold on to this, wash your brush. If these had been made to clip together so that the ends on the box were alternate, I mean it's made so that either end fits either end, which is great, good idea, but they could have made it so that either end clipped either end and they clipped together. That's basic engineering. You just need to swap that and that. So that would have made it stable because it would have been square then and that's really hard to tip over. This band, sadly, does not stretch enough to fit both pots in. <laughs> if it did, that would work. Um, in fact that would be the simplest solution is to make this band stretchy enough that it fitted both pots in and then this would be perfectly stable that would be a great little pot for using two things I'm sorry if you can hear beeping in the background my alarm has decided to go off on my phone for some strange reason so yeah and in general, that was my general issues with it. The design of these palette wells is very good. And I, I get why they've done them so that they slope down. Um, because it means you get water washes in here. However, as we all know, if you have a portable palette, most watercolourists do not dry out their palette before they close it up so you go like that and you've got loads of water everywhere <laughs> and paint in your palette yes that's lazy but that's how people work we don't you know mop out on clean out palette before we go we close it up and we move on and we hope open it up and we go oh dear my blue's bled into my red there better clean that out <laughs> you know and i'm not alone there because teo said the same thing <laughs> Um, my final issue with it, which may just be me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this could be just me, um, but I found it incredibly annoying, is that this plastic, and I've never had a plastic, um, I've never had a plastic palette do this before. My Winsor & Newton one doesn't do this, so I don't know why it does this, but as you can see from the, the paint splashes, when you make a wash, it beads up. Not a big deal for an amateur painter, 
But as you get more experience with watercolour painting, you'll realise how incredibly difficult that makes working. Also, the background is off-white, which makes colour mixing very difficult. I like my black, my plain tin palette, I'm afraid, for that. Tin is much easier to work on because it's been specially covered. It would have been easy to put a special covering on this so that it didn't do that. So, overall, that is the portable palette. It would work great for a younger person, and I've seen that you know some of the younger girls have no issue using it whatsoever. Uh, so it would make a great gift for perhaps a younger student or whatever. It does have its plus sides and it will work for a lot of people. It just doesn't work for me at all. And I think it wouldn't work for a lot of my students, to be honest, because a lot of my students are older women. And it just, it's fiddly. It's fiddly and it doesn't work well. I'm going to put this back in the cuff in the box because this is actually for the giveaway. It, I, I've got I've got one to give away, which I'm going to put in my giveaway for tomorrow's party. If you want to be at the party, come and sign up for my site. It's down there, free to members, free to sign up. It's just because of what we do and with journaling and everything, it's a membership only one so that I can keep spam down. I'm 29, I consider myself young, but that's not for me. Yeah. It's impractical for girls in general. I think t young teens, the, you know, I can understand why the 20-something the girls all like it, and the teenagers. I would have loved it as a teenager. Honestly, this would have been fantastic. Um, but the other thing is, <clears throat> even if your knees are thin enough to fit it, and there are plenty of women whose knees are thin enough to fit this. Uh, Carrie Harling is a sparrow. I'm sure it would work for her perfectly well. But even she has boobs. And by the time you sit down with the old boobs and put something on your knee, most people can actually see what they're doing from that point. Now, I, I have an, that, an ex exceptional case of that. Because if I sit down, I can't see my knees. <laughs> But it's just impractical for, for women in general. Um, which might be why some of the student girls enjoy, uh, enjoy it. Because most of them I've seen are quite thin and sparrow-like and not fully developed. So it works for them because they've got slightly boy more boyish than womanish frames, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, once you develop girl parts... <laughs> No. Anyway, a couple of uh, suggestions I had for. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go and turn that phone off. It's driving me nuts. Be quiet. Why are you still ringing? An alarm for people who never ever ever want to get out of bed and tell me it. I swear have it. <laughs> Let me just grab this a second because I should have grabbed this earlier. I had a couple of suggestions to improve this. First of all, sort out that because that I don't know if that would annoy anybody else, but that's not good practice anyway for watercolorists having a A palette that does that. I'm surprised that um, a professional watercolorist actually allowed it to be designed like that. Oh, don't know what that is. The beading is annoying. Oh, so it's not just me then. Okay. Either the band needed to be long enough for putting these two together. Or, like I say, if they'd swapped around those two, 
you would then have been able to put these two together if you wanted to or put them together here that would have, that would have doubled the <laughs> you have boobs and thicker thighs and you're not that big Risha I've seen you I wouldn't in any way call you even chubby let alone fat you're just you're just curvy you are perfectly normal sized but slightly curvy girl and you're saying it wouldn't work for you so yeah exactly <laughs> yeah I also think that the band could have been improved by something like this now these are key ring straps A small thing on here with a lobster clasp, you could have clipped that onto there. Number one, that's not going anywhere. Two, the whole thing could have been put on um, either a, a keychain or this is designed to go around your wrist, but I have huge wrists, so it doesn't go on mine. Um, it's designed for kids, <laughs> um, teens, like junior band it's a junior project for a school so it's, it's not an adult size band that's what I'm trying to say but an adult size band so if that went over your wrist you could have the whole thing hung on your wrist or I actually ended up using me use, using this on there and what I found was that I had a you know like an ID card clip where you have like a little almost like a oh my god words a slip clip where you just slot it on and then you push it in and pull it out what's it called carbiner mini carbiner so you just slot it on and pull it off again that was that worked great so I had the whole thing was just sat there and even with the boobage it hung low enough because it was an ID card holder that it was like round my midriff so it didn't it wasn't like here's my portable palette so something like this or similar would have worked better I think small clip on there or even you know just like a hole on it and clip it in that would have that would have worked uh, but I think like a, a little lobster clip on there clip it onto there not going anywhere this is a lot more difficult to lose even if you take it off i also think that this band should be stretchy enough to go around both which this one did when i had no nails but it's because it's got the hang on, because it's got the thing on it you can actually pull it hard enough to go around both without the ring you can't stretch it that far see now that that is quite a sturdy little container look that's not going anywhere that works fine so you can imagine with water in that would be quite sturdy so they missed us they missed a chance there if they'd made a band like this that would have worked better plus if the band stretches over that would have fitted underneath and it wouldn't have gone anywhere it would have been held more securely but you know this definitely should have been flat because if you don't use it on here that drives you nuts if you do use it on there and you are in any way heavy handed the weight of the water isn't enough to stop it tipping over so this could have been again this could have been better I like it in principle but the actual execution overall doesn't quite work for me perhaps if this was a little bit further down like halfway 
Maybe that would have helped with the stability. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. My dad is, and I know what he would say about it. He'd say, that's not very sturdy, is it? <laughs> Does it fall over? That's the first thing my dad wants to know. Does it fall over? So, yeah, I'm torn. I wanted to love it. And I do like it. It's a great idea. But the actual execution doesn't come off quite as well, sadly. Um, not for me. It doesn't work for me. That's not saying it doesn't work for anybody. There are plenty of people who have given this stellar reviews and said it works great and shown it working great for them. Um, the only other person I've seen who said it wasn't very stable was Teo. And he's heavy-handed as well. <laughs> so maybe it's just if you're heavy-handed. Maybe maybe the very, very tiny, you know, delicate little watercolourists can use it. Um, I don't want to name too many names because I'm, I'm bad with remembering who it was. But one of the well-known older females, I think it was Liz Steele, but don't quote me on that. She didn't get on with it either, for very similar reasons to me. Either the base needs to be heavier or bigger so it's sturdier to make an H shape. Yes, exactly. You don't have top heavy things and expect them to sit. However, it's not meant to sit on the desk. It's meant to sit on your knee. But size spread is real, guys. When we say... Does my bum look big in these jeans? We do not need, mean look at our bum while we're standing up here and, ima and, and tell us if our bum looks big. Because we can see it doesn't. We're looking in the mirror. What we mean is, imagine what it looks like when I sit down and tell me if my ass is going to look this wide. <laughs> Just so you know. Anyway. So, I like it. I think there's a lot of people who will get on with it. It's a good concept, but for me, it does not work at all. Um, to the point where I think I'm actually going to pass this one on to somebody else. Um, I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to pass it on because I'm sending some paints to somebody anyway. And rather than putting more paints in and not using these, I'm going to clean these up and refill them and send it on to her because she will she will probably enjoy it she's a lot thinner than i am <laughs> for a start so it might work for her um it does incidentally it doesn't it does fit on the arm of a chair um if you've got an armchair like a sofa with a a sturdy arm not those big floppy 80s style boofy arms but a proper arm like a proper sofa where it's solid it does actually fit on there. So it, as a couch thing, it would work. I can imagine it would work as a couch thing. In fact, that's quite a good idea. You could use it as a couch set and it would work fine. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, Sadly, not for me. I'm going to pass mine along to someone who I know will appreciate it uh, because it's just sitting here getting unused and I'm going to send her some paints anyway. So Amber, this is coming your way as soon as I get it in the box and clean, clean it up and get it in the box um, because I was sending her some paints anyway. So my full set of paints is already in there. I might as well send her the whole thing. And if she doesn't get along with it either, she can pull out the half pans and put them in her own palette. Um, I also have one for tomorrow for the Christmas party over on my site. Students and non-students welcome. It's just a members thing and I'm only inviting members only because I don't want random people turning up and causing problems. Um, on YouTube it's easy, you just block them. But the software that I use is not quite so easy to do that with. 
uh, but I do have one to give away along with several other things so if you're interested ah so it would work for you as a couch on a couch yeah you'd need to have like I say you need to have the the proper stable couch arms like oh I mine don't actually have stable couch arms because I have chairs Ah, the pallet people said can fit over your leg. Ha 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 ha, as if. Yeah, exactly, Evelyn. Exactly, that is exactly what I said. It fits over your leg as long as you're standing up. <laughs> um, train your beagle to carry it on its back. Yeah, it doesn't fit over Maddie, unfortunately. It fits over Maddie's neck. <laughs> no, you're quite right, Ave. I... I that was one of my first things as a girl. Oh, as soon as you hit the college 15 and the post college 25, it's never working again for you. It's not happening. So it would work for a bloke. Um, Teo didn't like it because of it, the beading. But he said, you know, to pop it on his knee and work from, it did actually work for him. But again, guy with skinny legs. So if you know a man who needs a Christmas stocking filler, <laughs> it's a good idea. Or a young student, great idea. Uh, and they're not very expensive either. But for the cost of them, this is not something I would purchase personally. And I wouldn't suggest it for most of the women that I work with or know or, you know, wouldn't even work for your bloke. Oh, wow. You have three couches with sturdy arms and a bed that pulls out and use a couch, which also has raised sides and back. Yeah, see if that. Project Midlife, not all guys, it wouldn't fit me in a million years. Oh, wow. Okay. Most guys don't have chunky thighs that expand when they sit down. But I suppose if you've got, like, like I said, if you've got muscular thighs, it wouldn't fit you anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm still going to give one away because it was very kind of Steve to send it to me for review. Um, and it will work for some people. Um, but this is one of the things that's going in the pot that's for, you know, only only ask for it if you think it would work for you or somebody you know kind of thing i've got other stuff that will work for absolutely everybody everybody can say yes i'd i'd love to be included in that um but this particular one you now know that it might not work for you i don't have fat legs and i don't think this would work for me to hold no if you're busty, it wouldn't. I can tell you that for nothing. As a busty lady myself, uh, albeit much bustier than most, if you're even slightly above sort of a C-ish, you would struggle because simply trying to get your arm across and still work is difficult enough. Uh, in fact, I would say if you struggle to struggle to hold your book like that against your chest and work you probably would get this to work for you but if you in any way have shelf boobs that are comfortable to lean a book on and draw on you can't reach that I have no boobage at all and it wouldn't work for me oh well okay Maybe it's just women in general then. It, it's, it was designed by a bloke. You can tell it was designed by a bloke. I'm sorry, but that's not... A, I don't mean that in a sexist way. I mean, literally, it was designed by a bloke. You can tell. Um, because us girls just would not have designed something like this. Uh, that said, you know, he, he did put it together and he did come up with this idea and... 
get it funded and everything else and he's made it very successful and that's that's fantastic you know who am I to criticize when I'm sitting here not making one but I think it has a lot of potential that we've missed I really do so yes um Amber when you see this this will be coming to you as soon as I clean it up now see I've got to even that even that small amount there I've got to clean that up now because if I close that it's got all good it, see it beads and it will drip and it'll end up in there as it happens that is that color but it's still going to annoy me if I open it and it's sloshing everywhere because it will stop that drying out one thing I do like about this color that I can say honestly well I'm saying all of it honestly but you know one thing I can say is that it doesn't quite close properly now for a palette that has water in it that's not good but for a palette where it's a travel palette and you want the paint to dry out actually that does work very well uh, because it means your paints don't go moldy with a traditional tin type situation they tend to be watertight and if it's watertight it's airtight and therefore when you close it up you have to make sure your paints are at least half dried out or you're going to use it regularly so for a travel palette that you might use once every two or three weeks you want it to be open see it doesn't quite close at the edges and that allows the air to get in and dry the paints out which is a good thing trust me you don't want moldy paint it stinks and once money once one of your paints starts to go moldy you might as well get rid of all of them because they're all going to turn at some point oh and this i'd forgotten about that till i cleaned it look it stains staining not good but other than that it's great <laughs> sorry steve it was very very kind of you to send it to me uh, and let me review it for you but uh, for me and the large proportion of my students it, it simply wouldn't work and i cannot recommend it to most of my students shelf boobs yeah shelf boobs are quite handy when you're sketching especially if you're short-sighted because as you get as you get older painting on your knee is not as easy unless until you get to the point of very focals when you get to very focals doing that up and down from your knee is fine but when you're at my stage of life mid 40s still got good long distance don't need very focals can't see anything that's less than arm's length without my glasses so for me having shelf boobs is really useful because I can do that and I can wear my glasses and I wear them down on my nose so I can see here and I can look up and I don't have to keep doing this all the time so essentially I've got very vocals <laughs> how can any designer of paint use materials that are stained by the paint uh, it could possibly be a difference in the paint maybe it's my paint I use Holbein watercolors I don't know what watercolours he uses so it could be a difference in the paint but yeah the whole thing stains which annoys me incredibly that said it does work for some people and if you go and look at you know you can see reviews of people where they have actually used it and used it for quite some time and you can tell because their palettes are dirty and they're worn like mine is they have used it and it works but it doesn't work for me so I would not recommend spending this kind of money on that kind of palette what I would recommend and I believe somebody asked me just now so I'm going to grab it sorry my desk is a complete complete disaster at the moment look at this mess because I was I was collaging the things and I keep going like that being a lefty and this pile just gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it falls over but I use this now I've heard so many people say oh I'd love a tin palette but they're so expensive get thee to eBay what is wrong with you people <laughs> stop looking at the ones that have 
schminker written all over the top. Yeah, it's lovely to have one that's got schminker written all over the top. But guess what? Everybody's got one of them. Go to eBay. There are a million and one sellers on the Korean and Chinese sections that sell these. This one cost me so little that I ended up getting two. I think it was two for less than a fiver. And they even do the big ones, you know, like the really big one, like um, Little Raven Ink's got, like the 48 holders or something. So I would get one of these. Look, look how the paint doesn't bubble. Look how it sits flat. I mean, this bit doesn't sit flat, but it bends. It doesn't... What I normally do is put it that way, clip this side down, and then it, this side doesn't do anything. It just bounces, which is not annoying. It's got a thing on the back to put your thumb through or your finger through. It's usually free shipping. Got one of those on eBay for less than five bucks. Yeah, I got two for five. I paid, I paid five pounds for two. You can tray, pull the tray pans out. Yep. Um, this whole thing comes out actually. I've, I've pushed mine apart at the ends. It's got these two little things at the end, if you can see. And if you push them out, they fit under the lip and then the thing doesn't fall out. But then when you want to use it, change your tins, all you've got to do is do that and look, it lifts out. It's like spring loaded almost because it's pushing against the sides. But as soon as you push it in, it's fine. Now it comes with two of these. So you pop your tins in there. You push that in a little bit and your colour pops in there and holds nice and tight. This particular one had enough room here. There isn't another channel here. Uh, it's actually meant for a brush. Um, but this particular channel, it did fit my water brush, my regular brush. But if you put a little bit of, of sticky tape down, as you can see, you can fit another two, four, six, seven colours. I got 21 colours in there. So this is fantastic. So, like I say, see how it, you push it out too far, and then when you push it down in, it holds. I've never had any problems with this coming apart on me. Another thing that's useful is if you use a big, a large book. Let me see, where is my... I can't find the book that I normally sketch in. I'll just show you on here. Like this. Fits perfectly on a moleskin notebook, this little one. But the one that I normally use, I tend to put it like that. So this bit actually fits over the edge of my book Which means when I'm using my big book, which is twice the size of this, I've only got that one corner where I can't get colour. And it's still sturdy. It's still plenty sturdy. It doesn't go anywhere. So this is my preference. I love this little thing. I've got one backup. And I've got another one that I use with a different set of paints in it. You can also, actually, I've forgotten about that, the clip. Somebody else told me about this. The clip there, you can put it down into your notebook. And hold it that way if you prefer. 
So if you sketch like that, that's how she uses it. And that's what this normally does, it goes on there. This actually comes out, you can pull this out. If you don't like it there, you can pull it out, but I usually do that. Because then when I pack up, all I've got to do is slip that on my finger and I'm, I'm done. It's just like having a, a phone case. Um, the other thing, which I don't really understand, one of the big things or big selling points for this, as you can see from the marketing, is it's no bigger than your mobile phone. I've never had a mobile phone that big, I'm sorry. I didn't have a mobile phone that big in the 90s. Um, and this is considerably smaller. It doesn't sit flat with that ring on, but you can see it's considerably shorter. In fact, this is almost exactly the same size as my iPhone 5. Now, I suppose if you've got one of these massive iPhone 6 Plus type things, then, yeah, this is smaller than your average mobile phone. But for those of us who are still on small phones, mine is very slightly heavier very slightly in fact if I took that off it probably wouldn't be as heavy <laughs> you pulled the clip off yours and put it under the tray yeah I use this just to be able to easily hold on to it uh, but I don't generally have it on there I don't generally have this on there I put this on my um, Urban Sketchers bag and then when I need it, I attach it to this because it's a two second thing to take it on and off. But yeah, this clip, you just pull it apart and it slides out. So you don't have to have it on there, uh, but I find it quite useful actually. So of the two, would I spend I'm not sure the current price of this, but 20 something at least pounds on this or £2.50 on this, I'd buy three or four of these. In fact, I did. <laughs> I did. Um, I'm sure these are great. They're very nice. They'll work for some people, but this is more practical for us older ladies. I count myself as an older lady. I'm going to be 47 in January. What the heck? How did that happen? I'm, it's still the 90s as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, I would get this over this. But not because this is horrendous, just because it doesn't work for me. So there you go. That turned into a very long talk about a palette, didn't it? I was only going to be on for, for a few minutes, but you know me. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's it for today. Tomorrow is Christmas party day over on my site. If you want to come and join, sign up. There's the link. It's also down below in the description bar down there. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, if you're in the UK, you can get 10% off at Jackson's Art with my discount code, ROW10. Uh, and if you're in the States, you can get it from uh, Portable Painter. is actually cheaper to buy it than anywhere else. Uh, anything else? No. Three more days, three more days, yay. So tomorrow will be, I know I said today was going to be short, I had intended this to be short and quick. Tomorrow will be short and quick because I'm doing, I'm peopling all day tomorrow because of the Christmas party, but I will pop in, we'll say hello. Um, Uh, 
don't know what we're going to do, but it might just be a quick hi. Here's what we've been doing. Sunday is the 23rd. That's Mad Maddie's Gotcha Day. We've been saving Maddie's cake from Rachel. Sparkly Goss there sent R Miss Maddie and Scooby a lovely Christmas cake. Puppy Christmas cake. For members of the site or class members tomorrow's party. Members of the site. Class has finished now, officially. Um, and then we were going to have a wrap party. And then I thought, you know, for the amount of people who actually make it to the live stuff during the day, even on a Saturday, I might as well just open it to all members. That way we'll have a decent amount of people at most points during the day. So if you want to sign up, Come and join us. Uh, I will post the information in the coffee lounge tomorrow. Possibly tonight before I go to bed, because I'm known for getting up five minutes before I have to do something. <laughs> Maybe I'll organise it tonight and post it. And then Sunday, yeah, Sunday is Miss Maddie's gotcha day. So we'll do her cutting of the cake. We'll see, how, we'll have a puppy day. Uh, and I may tell you Miss Maddie's gotcha day story because a few people have asked about the dogs and are they rescues and everything else so I might tell you the gotcha day stories uh, and then the 24th we're gonna have a mini party here a nice quiet Christmas Eve journaling you know some chill out music and a couple of candles and just do a bit of a journal with me before Christmas and then I'm on holiday <laughs> two weeks oh speaking of holidays i need to go and check in on my mum and dad <laughs> see if their flights landed at gatwick yet <laughs> there's um people flying drones over gatwick airport that has caused the entire airport to shut down at various times the military are involved in everything tracking the suspects i suspect it's a couple of kids have got hold of dad's drone and they're either up on a roof or in a garage somewhere <laughs> causing chaos they are definitely on the naughty list. <laughs> right, see you at the party tomorrow. Bye guys, have a great night.